Now at 6, embattled Broward Supervisor of Elections, Brenda Snipes, suggesting tonight that she is out the door as the county's elections chief. This is Broward finally gets down to the business of recounting, and we have breaking news right now in the Florida recount. Lawyers for Senator Bill Nelson late today filed a lawsuit in federal court seeking to extend the deadline for recounting of all the votes statewide in the U.S. Senate race. This as a judge rules to give Palm Beach County an extension to complete its recount. More on that in a minute, but first, CBS as force Joan Murray is live at Broward Election Headquarters in Lauder Hill with the day's developments there. Joan. And this is a story that keeps evolving, doesn't it? Well, first we had the supervisor announcing she may be stepping down, but the big news out of here today, they finally started the all-important machine recount. Now let's take a live look inside election headquarters, the tabulation room, where at this point they are now looking, going through and sorting the mail-in ballots. We're told there are just uh, under 200,000 of those mail-in ballots. They have to be sorted, the first page taken out, taken out, so that can be run through the machine. And they are hoping that they will get that part of the recount going sometime tonight. We will complete the recount. At long last, the machine recount is underway in Broward and is a third of the way done. With under 48 hours left to make the state deadline, planners say they are ahead of schedule. The ballots are being kept under lock and key in a large steel cage under the watchful eyes of Broward Sheriff deputies. There's never been a deadline that we have missed. Broward is still sorting through mail-in ballots, which must be counted, and the election day ballots amounting to another 400,000 votes that have to be tabulated. The process will help decide three close races, the one for the United States Senate, the Florida governorship, and the commissioner of agriculture. President Trump took to Twitter, tweeting, when will Bill Nelson concede in Florida? The characters running Broward and Palm Beach voting will not be able to find enough votes. Too much spotlight on them now. I don't have a treasure trove for going out digging on the beaches somewhere to find any votes. So, uh, But I've never had an opportunity to meet the president other than seeing him from television. And he hasn't met me. And battled supervisor Brenda Snipes opened the door to leaving. But it is time to move on to let someone else, maybe be one of you guys out there, you're steeped in election business. But um, I've done, I think I have served the purpose that I came here for. Two years ago when I was running my own campaign for state house, uh, the entire election for the United States of America had been called by several of the news outlets and Broward's still counting votes. Broward Republican Party Chair George Moraitis says it's a question of leadership. I'm not saying that Dr. Snipes is a corrupt individual. What I'm saying is that she doesn't seem to be up to the task of managing something that's under such intense scrutiny. Now, let's take another look inside this is a live look at the tabulation room. Again, they are starting to sort through the mail-in ballots. We understand there are a little under 200,000 of those. Once they sort them, take off the first page that has the races in question, then they will begin running them through the tabulation. We understand that could start later tonight. Now, as for the supervisor's future, she said that is a decision she's going to be discussing with her family. She has not made it clear whether she could be thinking about not running for re-election in two years or will be stepping down sooner. Again, this is a story that keeps developing and will keep you posted as it happens. In Lauder Hill tonight, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News.